here with Ming Shen Hong from Vertica, engineer turned product marketing, so he knows what he's talking about. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, John. You're one of the smart nodes out there. We're going to extract some knowledge. We have a demo. You're going to show us some eye candy from the Vertica. And one of the big things around the marketplace right now, and certainly in why we're here at the show, is to, to figure out where HP fits in the big picture for convergence, cloud, mobility, consumer, consumerization of IT, all those buzzwords. And at the heart of it, in today's marketplace, powering mobile, social, and cloud, is data. Data is the new developer environment. People are using data in all sorts of new ways. There's new data types. You guys at Vertica have been hugely successful in building out a new, new, new opportunity that plays in the big data space. So let's talk about big data. So first, um, tell me a little bit about Vertica and then how you work within the big data ecosystem because it's growing, it's changing. You have Hadoop out there, you have proprietary approaches. You guys are now in HP. All the brain trust is trying to figure out what to do with you. I'm sure they're going to do some good things, but tell us your view of the big data ecosystem. Absolutely, John. So when Vertica got started in 2005, there's just tremendously growing trend of big data. You know, just the amount of data volume that's being generated and captured every year is just growing exponentially. But the problem is the technology for analyzing the data, gaining real-time insights over the fine-grained data is not there yet. That's the premise where Vertica has found it, right? So we took this revolutionary approach, started with a clean slate, no legacy technology, no, no burden of the history. Um, and you know, we really architected this compelling solution that's reducing the disk I.O., which is often the key bottleneck for large-scale data analysis, terabytes, petabytes, or even more, right? These data analysis engines. And we figured out a really low-cost and flexible software solution that's you know, bringing sort of the standard, power of standard hardware to sort of the extreme. So data, data, as we've been covering at SiliconANGLE.com and Wikibon.org, our research group, mm -hmm. is a source of competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. Because traditionally data's been parked away in data warehouses. Mm -hmm. You know, HP's played in that world. Mm -hmm. um, they build gear and hardware to mm -hmm. make things go faster. Mm -hmm. But you really, when you park that data way away, it's mm -hmm. not only, it's really hard to get it out fast. You got to throw some hardware at it. Um, but now with these new approaches with unstructured data, with mobile and mm -hmm. all these new data types, Low latency archival recovery of data is critical for all, all applications. We heard from VMware earlier today talking about how virtualization is changing. We had David Scott on, mm -hmm. on board here, Senior Vice President of the, of the, of the Storage Group, mm -hmm. thin provisioning, all these things are happening. So tell me, uh, uh, Ming Shen, what do you see as the technology enabler of big data. We see things like Hadoop out there that's growing like a weed, it's mm -hmm. open source, people are building proprietary approaches. We see Vertica with a clean sheet of paper developing some technology. Um, what's disrupting this marketplace? What technology is that disruptive enabler? Absolutely. You're spot on, John, when you commented that, you know, it used to be the case that data warehouse you know, is, is the place where you park the data, or as people, you know, it's people, you know, some people say um, the data warehouse is where the data goes to die, right? And, and that's not compelling because you like to put your data to work just like you put your money to work. You want to keep all your fine-grained raw data and analyze them in real time. That's what Vertica does. In terms of the key enablers, I would say there are three aspects that you know, are receiving continuous innovation, and these are the key focuses for Vertica. First of all, performance. And by performance, we mean efficiency, scalability across standard hardware, reliability, high performance, continuous querying and loading, no downtime, performance. Then we talk about features because people realize given the new age 21st century web 2.0, you know, virtualization analysis, mobile device, social network, well traditional structured data analysis, in particular there's this language called SQL, is no longer sufficient. We want to add all sorts of statistical data mining algorithms, predictive anal analytics, feed that into the database engine if possible. That would make the ultimate compel compelling solution. And, and, and lastly, I would uh, stress the uh, importance of usability because you don't want a tool that it, it's incredibly powerful but you know, no one can use it. You, know, you need a, an army of PhDs who will have to you know, roll their sleeves and program from scratch every day. Right? You want to put the brain, the people's insights into higher level innovations, enabling new use cases, and let the data engine take care of the low level work for you. And that's the, uh, these are all the foundations that Vertica is, is uh, created on. And it's also, I mean, 
performance is key, and that's going to be something that you have to deal with in these legacy environments. Um, mm -hmm. and, and we want to talk more about that, and I, I want to go to the demo in a minute, but I mm -hmm. want to ask you about um, data science, data scientists. Mm -hmm. So that's the big rage right now is mm -hmm. data scientists. But they're not, gradu they're not graduate from college anymore, it's PhD levels. So talk about the skill set required to play in this area, because mm -hmm. this is not just hire a kid out of high school or college with a CS degree, right? I mean, there's some math involved, there's some real tech. So talk about the science involved and also the role of the data scientist. Absolutely. Now, traditionally, and it's continuing to uh, go along the trend, a data scientist needs to have three strong skills. You need to have, first of all, mathematical and uh, more specifically statistical analysis skills, right? You need to understand how, what kind of methods you employ on which kind of data. Secondly, you know, uh, performance related, database background. That's how you know which tool you can pick to maximize the performance, right? Because, you know, if you just understand the algorithm but don't know how to execute it efficiently, that's not going to be realistic. Right? And thirdly, domain expertise knowledge. Right? Are you talking about analyzing uh, social gaming behavior for in Zynga, or Groupon analysis, or AOL? You know, real time sort of uh, looking at people's uh, you know web browsing you know behavior, analyzing that, serving, targeting precise ads. These are all the different uh, domains, and you need expertise in that. Right? And Vertica is continued down that trend, but given you know the power, the performance, and the usability that Vertica puts on the table, it can offload a lot of activities from the users so that they can really focus on uh, you know, really what's adding value to their business, the business insights, the domain specific knowledge they bring to the table, as well as the st statistical uh, elements you know, there. And Vertica takes care of the performance for you and the scalability. I'm John Furrier with SiliconAngle.com, the reference point for tech innovation. We love talking about some of the emerging technology like big data. I'm here with Ming-Chen Hong with uh, Vertica, now part of HP. Um, really smart guy in the engineering side, now product marketing. Um, before we go to the demo, I want to ask you a final question about um, um, sizzle. Okay, sizzle and steak. The sizzle is analytics. You get the CEOs up there doing dashboards. I was at the SAP conference. Oh, look at this, we can get data from all these databases in seconds and I can run my business, I get real-time information, real-time analytics. I mean, they're selling that dream. It's Absolutely. A, it's a great dream, yes. right? So that's the sizzle. So let's talk about the steak. The steak is the science behind it. Share with us some of the science behind making that dream of selling the real-time analytics happen. Well, science is always the, sort of the concrete foundation, but relatively sort of boring part that people don't you know, often highlight on a big screen, right? But um, if I am to summarize the science behind big data technology, in specific, specifically Vertica, these are the following aspects. We want to leverage standard uh, x86-based ho commodity hardware. That's how you can write the curves of decreasing price and increasing performance every, every year, year after year, right? Um, you know, st really standing on the uh, shoulder of the giants like Intel's and others. So standard hardware, and you want to have a massively scalable solution. You don't want to have any single bottleneck in your system. You know, that sounds obvious, but it's very uh, challenging to pull it off, right? As so you can I'm imagine. a customer. I want some of that big data yes. solutions. Can I just hire a consulting firm to roll in and just roll me some big data? Um, mm -hmm. I hire, get download Hadoop for free, and I got real-time analytics. Is it that easy? Where are we with this? Oh, absolutely. So Hadoop is one of the examples where you know it's been revolutionizing the big data industry, the open source nature. This ex you know incredibly talented uh, community behind it. Right now, people do use Hadoop as an entry point to conduct the analytics, and Hadoop is very flexible to conduct you know to handle jobs all the way from ETL data loading side transformation to the data analytics. Now, uh, Hadoop is very, is sim there's a lot of commonality between Hadoop and Vertica in terms of using commodity hardware scale out, as we just talked about. Um, the difference is, I would say, you know, Vertica is really focusing on physically organizing the data really well when you, when you load, load it into the database, right? Talking about segmented data across the nodes, not in a random way, which Hadoop does for high availability. But Vertica is actually segmenting it in a way that's very amenable to query analytics. It's set, you know, and also sorting the data. And 
and encoding the data and compressing it specifically uh, tailored for each individual column. Right? That's how you can squeeze uh, the storage footprint. Vertica often gives 10 to 1 compression ratio. Very compelling because if you've got terabytes of, terabytes of data, where you, you know, put that into the disk, you don't want it to blow up. Whereas for other solutions, you know, for high availability through the replicas, it usually blows up anywhere between 3x to even 100x. Great, well, at siliconangle.com and siliconangle.tv here inside theCUBE, we've done um, many CUBE gigs this past year, many big events, Strata, but over a million views at Strata, O'Reilly's Strata Conference, which was the focus on big data. We did um, a lot of different events, and, and demos of data are hard to do, and one of the most popular demos we've done, and Michael Sean Wright, our director, loves the demos, is visualiz visualization of, de of data. Mm -hmm. So you have a demo, so let's go to the demo right now. Share with us the setup, what the demo is, and then just jump right in. Okay. All right, this is very exciting. What I'm going to show, show you is a live demo. There's no uh, you know, PowerPoint or sort of sleight of hand there. Um, so you know, if it actually crashes in the middle, then you know it is really the real stuff. <laughs> all right, let's get started. So first of all, let me set up the table here. Um, we basically uh, developed a demo to show Vertica's real-time analytics capability monitoring a large number of machine devices. Think about your you know, mobile phones, your tablets, or perhaps you know, the network routers, any machine that's generating real-time data, and you want to analyze them and monitor the situation. For a large organization such as HP, with hundreds of thousands of global employees, you may have that many devices online at the same time, and you want to understand which devices are consuming most of uh, you know, the bytes on the network, so on and so forth. So let's get started with the, the user interface here. What I'm going to show you is we have a loader that generates the, the realistic uh, machine uh, measurement data and load that into Vertica engine, and then we're going to feed uh, the Vertica insight into a dashboard to visualize uh, the query analytics. All of these components are running on my latest and greatest you know, HP laptop, right? But truth be told, it's still a, a laptop, right? Yeah. All right, so now let's get started with the demo. I'm going to hit the click button, uh, click the button to uh, start loading the data. Now what I'm loading is, for every half a minute, it's generating a million records corresponding to those machine measurements, hundreds of thousands of uh, machine devices. And what this blue bar showing you is, for that batch that uh, you know, corresponds to half a minute's worth of data, the green bar is actually the amount of time it takes Vertica to load that data. Right? So it's nowhere close to the machine capacity. And let me remind you, you know, we're running on a single laptop here. So if you have more beefy hardware, you, know, you can really uh, you know, provide you know, linear scalability there. Uh, the text might be a little hard to see, but let me read some of the key statistics for you. We're loading over two, 20 me uh, megabytes a second, which translates to multiple terabytes a day. Right? So we have customers like Zynga and others who are generating that much data and loading into Vertica and providing real-time analytic insight. Okay? So this is the loading side. Now, while we're continuously loading that much data into Vertica, let me show you how we can extract analytic insight the moment the data hits the database, right? You don't need, you don't want to, you know, have a separate nightly uh, load window, which is the common practice today, but creates huge latency for the analyst. If I want to look at what's going on on my network right now, I don't want to wait for 24 hours. So let's look at uh, the reporting side. Okay. So let me start with, if I'm an analyst, analyst I want to understand. Um, among the hundreds of thousands of devices, you know, which ones uh, are, are these you know, the ones I'm interested in? I don't want to eyeball all of the hundreds of thousands, right? So I can break them down by the device vendor. So we've got a couple of device vendors here. If you click any vendor, you see the more detailed uh, breakdown of the device families. And notice every time I click the UI button, it's generating a real-time query, feeding that into Vertica and getting the result back. Look at the, free, look at the latency here. Very compelling, interactive. Right. Similarly, if I click any device family, it's going to bring me a long list of uh, all the devices currently active. And if I select any device, it's going give to give me all the details, right? Perhaps which user it belongs to, what are the hardware details. And you can select a few of them for contrast if you like, right? So, so far, we covered the reporting side for the static hardware device information. 
Now let's look at a more exciting side, the, the really the runtime information. How are my hundreds of thousands of devices doing in real time? So I'm just refreshing this uh, pretty complex dashboard and walk you through that. So the left hand on the uh, top left the screen, we see uh, we're plotting all the data across a timeline and we're aggregating uh, the information around hundreds of thousands of devices and plotting the average throughput, which is the first curve. And the bottom curve is the average error rate. Right? So once you've got the 10,000 foot level view, you might ask yourself, what are my 10 most busiest, uh, busiest, busiest devices? Right? Or who are my 10 uh, users who have been consuming most of my 3G bandwidth? So that's what the right, uh, top right screen is showing you, the top 10 devices there. Again, if I hit the refresh, it's actually going to notice the extended timeline there. It's going to actually bring in the latest data that hits the Vertica, Vertica database, and it brings you the real time insight. Now, if I want to drill down, let me click any individual device, and it's going to bring me the similar curve, but this time focusing on that particular device. What if I want to contrast different devices? Let me pick a few ones, and you can look at the visually compelling curves there to look at how they're different. And finally, if I pick a single device, and I may want to understand the correlation between different measures, such as um, you know, the, uh, the bottom right screen, you have the x-axis as the error rate and the y-axis as the throughput. Right, so we have a single data point for that particular chosen device at a time 9 o'clock. Now let's understand how that data point changes over time. So I'm going to play this movie-like experience here where you know, we can look at the trajectory of all the data points as it's moving. And let me remind you, every time you know, uh, we, uh, it's issuing a new query to the database and bringing the latest information. Right? Ming, so, I want to just, we have a guest, we have to give you the hook. Sorry about the interruption the demo. Thank you for the time. I know you got a lot to show there. We're going to get to it later if you have time. Um, sorry to interrupt you, but really thankful for the demo. Uh, we have to kind of move on. It was a great demo. Uh, we have a time we had realized that Paul Miller was supposed to be coming on the, as well. We lost our chair for the demo, but thanks for showing us the demo. The Vertica thing's hot. Congratulations. The pleasure is mine, John.